In the world of military aviation, there exists a machine so fierce and commanding that it redefines the meaning of strategic dominance, the B-1 Lancer. Born in the heat of the Cold War, this supersonic bomber isn't just an aircraft, it's a symbol of raw power, precision, and relentless speed. How did it evolve from a controversial project into a backbone of modern air power? This is the story of the B-1 Lancer. In the world of military aviation, few aircraft manage to balance power, speed, and versatility like the Rockwell B-1 Lancer. Known affectionately as the Bone due to its B-1 designation, this supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber has been a cornerstone of the United States Air Force for decades. But the B-1 is much more than just a bomber. It's a technological marvel with a storied history, unmatched payload capacity, and a legacy that continues to leave its mark in the skies. Historical context of the Rockwell B-1 Lancer. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer, originally conceived during the height of the Cold War, has evolved from a supersonic nuclear bomber to a powerful conventional strike aircraft. Its journey through development and service offers a fascinating glimpse into the changing priorities of U.S. military strategy and technology over several decades. Designed to counter the growing threat of Soviet air defenses, the B-1 Lancer was born out of the need for a bomber capable of high-speed, low-altitude penetration in the face of increasingly advanced missile systems. The B-1 story begins in the early 1960s when the U.S. Air Force recognized the necessity of a new bomber capable of evading the Soviet Union's expanding network of surface-to-air missiles. In 1961, the United States canceled the XB-70 Valkyrie, a Mach 3 strategic bomber, due to the rising threat of SAMs and the increasing viability of intercontinental ballistic missiles. This shift in the strategic landscape prompted the need for a bomber that could fly at lower altitudes and at higher speeds to avoid detection by radar systems. In 1969, after years of study, the U.S. Air Force initiated the Advanced Manned Strategic Aircraft Program, ultimately awarding the contract for its development to Rockwell International. The goal was to build a versatile bomber capable of supersonic speeds, stealth-like low-altitude penetration, and a significant payload. This vision resulted in the B-1A, which was designed to fly at speeds greater than Mach 2 and carry a substantial nuclear payload. The B-1A with a top speed of Mach 2.22 and the ability to fly at altitudes of up to 60,000 feet, the B-1A was initially hailed as a revolutionary design. It was equipped with variable sweep wings, which allowed it to adapt its aerodynamic profile depending on the flight regime, and featured advanced air intakes and exhaust nozzles that contributed to its impressive supersonic performance. Despite the promise of the B-1A, the aircraft faced a number of obstacles, including technical challenges and changing geopolitical dynamics. The rise of new Soviet interceptors, such as the MiG-31, along with the emergence of stealth technology and the B-2 bomber program, led to the decision by President Jimmy Carter's administration to cancel the B-1A in 2008-1979. The cancellation was also influenced by the growing prominence of ICBMs and submarine-launched ballistic missiles, which were increasingly seen as more cost-effective and reliable deterrence options than manned bombers. However, in 1981, President Ronald Reagan revived the B-1 program in response to a growing need for a versatile, long-range conventional bomber that could counter global instability and Soviet aggression. This marked the beginning of the development of the B-1B, a modified version of the B-1A. The B-1B featured lower top speeds and a fixed intake ramp design that improved the bomber's radar signature and reduced costs. The B-1B also boasted an upgraded electronic warfare suite and a greater maximum takeoff weight, making it an effective platform for conventional strike missions. The B-1B's primary mission was to carry out conventional strike operations in scenarios where nuclear deterrence was not required, but the aircraft could still perform at high speeds and carry substantial payloads over long distances. Its versatility quickly became apparent, and it was soon deployed in numerous operations across the globe, from Desert Storm in the early 1990s to ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and Asia. 
As the Cold War drew to a close with the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, the B-1B's mission profile underwent a significant shift. Under the terms of the 1995 START II Arms Control Agreement, the B-1B was stripped of its nuclear capabilities, transitioning into a fully conventional bomber. This shift in strategic focus marked the beginning of the B-1B's remarkable transformation into a versatile, multi-role combat aircraft capable of striking deep into enemy territory with precision. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, the B-1B participated in multiple operations, including Operation Allied Force over Kosovo, Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Its ability to carry a heavy payload and deliver precision-guided munitions over vast distances made it a key asset in modern warfare. The B-1B's remarkable range, which allows it to fly 5,100 nautical miles with a significant payload, and its capability to carry a combination of bombs and missiles, further cemented its place in the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. Variants the Rockwell B-1 Lancer has undergone several key variants over its lifetime, each one reflecting both the changing needs of the U.S. Air Force and the continuous technological advancements in aviation. While the core design remains remarkably consistent, these variants have enhanced the aircraft's capabilities, enabling it to adapt to evolving military requirements. B-1A The B-1A was the original iteration of the B-1 bomber, Developed in the 1970s during the height of the Cold War, its primary mission was to deliver a high-speed, low-altitude strike capability capable of penetrating Soviet air defenses. The B-1A was designed to be a supersonic bomber, capable of reaching speeds in excess of Mach 2, which was a significant leap in performance compared to other bombers of the time. One of its most innovative features was its variable sweep wings which allowed the aircraft to adjust its wing configuration depending on the flight profile, optimizing performance at different speeds and altitudes. The B-1A's wings would be a distinctive feature in all subsequent B-1 models. B-1B The B-1B, which entered service in 1986, was a major reconfiguration of the B-1A's design. While it retained the signature variable sweep wings, the B-1B traded the supersonic speed of the B-1A for a more strategic, long-range conventional bombing capability. One of the key features of the B-1B was its fixed air intake ramps, which were incorporated to reduce the bomber's radar cross-section. This modification made the B-1B more stealthy, enhancing its survivability in hostile environments where advanced radar systems were in place. The B-1B was optimized for conventional warfare with a massive payload capacity. This made it one of the most capable bombers in terms of payload, making it an ideal asset for large-scale strategic strikes. Its long-range, high-speed cruising capabilities and flexibility in carrying both guided and unguided bombs have made the B-1B the backbone of the U.S. Air Force's bomber fleet, conducting a wide range of operations from the Gulf War to missions in Afghanistan and Iraq. B-1R In the early 2000s, the U.S. Air Force considered a potential upgrade to the B-1B, known as the B-1R, re-engineered. The B-1R would have been equipped with advanced avionics, new engines from the F-22 Raptor, and an improved radar system to enhance its capabilities in modern warfare. Additionally, the B-1R was designed to carry air-to-air -air missiles, increasing its versatility for both strike and defensive roles. Specifications the Rockwell B-1 Lancer is a highly capable and versatile strategic bomber designed for long-range conventional warfare. It is crewed by four personnel, an aircraft commander, a pilot, an offensive systems officer, and a defensive systems officer. The aircraft boasts impressive dimensions, with a length of 146 feet and a wingspan of 137 feet, which can be swept back to 79 feet for enhanced performance. The B-1 Lancer stands 34 feet tall and has an empty weight of 192,000 pounds, with a maximum takeoff weight of 477,000 pounds. It is equipped with a significant fuel capacity of 265,274 pounds, allowing for extended operational range. In terms of performance, the B-1 Lancer is capable of reaching a maximum speed of Mach 1.25, 
while its range extends to 5,100 nautical miles with a 37,000-pound payload. Its maximum range is an impressive 6,500 nautical miles, making it well-suited for long-duration missions. The aircraft's service ceiling reaches 60,000 feet, allowing it to operate at high altitudes for strategic advantages. The B-1 Lancer's armament capabilities are equally formidable. It features three internal bomb bays that can carry up to 75,000 pounds of ordnance. Additionally, six external hardpoints allow for an extra 50,000 pounds of payload, with newer LAM pylons increasing the external capacity to 7,500 pounds. This combination of payload and range makes the B-1 Lancer one of the most effective bombers in the U.S. Air Force's inventory, capable of delivering powerful strikes across vast distances. B-1 Lancer Milestones The development of the B-1 Lancer has been marked by a series of key milestones that highlight the aircraft's evolution and importance to the U.S. Air Force. The journey began with the awarding of the B-1A contract in June 1970, setting the stage for what would become one of the most iconic bombers in modern military history. After several years of design and testing, the B-1A made its first flight on December 23, 1974. This early prototype was a supersonic bomber intended to penetrate Soviet air defenses during the Cold War, but it faced several challenges, leading to the cancellation of the B-1A program in 1979. Despite this setback, the B-1 program was revived by the Reagan administration and the B-1B version, with a focus on conventional payloads rather than nuclear deterrence, was developed. The first flight of the B-1B took place in March 1983, and the first production B-1B was completed by September 4, 1984. A month later, on October 18, 1984, the first production B-1B took to the skies, marking the beginning of a new era for the bomber. The B-1B officially entered service with the U.S. Air Force on October 1, 1986, and by May 2, 1988, the 100th B-1B was delivered. In 1995, a significant milestone occurred when the B-1B's nuclear capabilities were deactivated following arms control agreements, shifting the bomber's role to conventional warfare. The aircraft saw its first combat use in December 1998 during Operation Desert Fox, and in 2008, the B-1B made history as the first U.S. Air Force aircraft to fly supersonic using synthetic fuel, demonstrating its continued technological advancement and operational relevance. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the most powerful bombers ever built, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories on military technology and history. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.